That was something. Hey, you were the one who said I should put my finger on the scale. Yeah, but I thought that and don't get caught part was implied. <sighs> Guess not. I wasn't actively trying to get caught. Too bad you don't have the chance to course correct the championship match before Survivor Series. But maybe I do. How? Survivor Series is this weekend. You can't send Becky and Bailey back out there tonight for another rematch. No, but there's another option. As someone said recently, I'm Miss TBD Rebel, not a lawful good rule follower. And Raw is a three hour show. There's an announcement I need to make. All right, Miss TBD Rebel. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, good luck. This is the second time we've seen the acting Raw general manager in the ring tonight, but this time she has a special announcement. Here's hoping this goes more smoothly than her stint as special guest referee. As GM, I'm not deaf to the concerns of the WWE Universe. Specifically, that my involvement in our number one contender match earlier tonight may have made it look like management was biased towards Becky Lynch. I assure you, my intent as GM is simply to put on the best show for the WWE Universe. And that applies to not just Raw, but Survivor Series. As such, it is my duty to inform you that Bianca Belair will not be defending the Women's World Championship this weekend. Bianca's being pulled from Survivor Series? She will not be defending this weekend because it's clear Bailey and Becky Lynch are not done yet. I just hope they have allies to rally to their side. Eight fighters, two teams of four. War Games! War Games at Survivor Series? I'm not missing this one. Well, we're paid to be there, Saxton. I know, but it's still incredibly exciting. I probably should be upset at you for putting another hurdle in front of my title match, but honestly, fair play. Glad we're okay. We are, and I respect your hustle. You've made a lot of bold choices since coming to WWE. It's one of the reasons I want you to be on my War Games team. Really? I like your instincts, especially when you get in trouble and have to think quickly on your feet. Heck, I even trust your instincts. Team with me, and I'll let you pick the rest of the War Games team. Uh, let me think about it. You really did it this time, didn't you, you dummy? I think you'd be happy that you're getting another opportunity to earn the title match in War Games. Should have just booked the War Games match from the start, honestly. Want to be on my team? Why do you want me on your team? I think it's pretty clear from your time as GM that you've been going into business for yourself here and just doing whatever you can to scrape by. And that's exactly what I look for in damage control. So what do you say? Join me, Dakota, and Io in the fight to secure my WWE Women's World Championship match? I'll get back to you. Hey, I've been looking for you. I thought we were gonna meet outside of catering. Turns out I was pretty busy in here. Both Becky and Bailey want me to be on their war games team. You can't be serious. You lost this up so badly and they both want you on their team? Hmm. What can I say? I'm a catch. 
I swear there's something in the water around here that allows you to walk away from the consequences of your actions unscathed. <laughs> I'm sure putting yourself into the main event while you're also acting GM will be no different. Thanks for another great promoter lecture. Look, I know you're gonna do it anyway. Who are you teaming with? Becky said she'd let me pick the rest of the team. I'm joining her side. Can't wait for you to get absolutely no flack for putting yourself into the match that you set up. Have you decided who else you'll ask to join you and Becky? Oh, good luck. I'm sure it'll be interesting. She has one. Introducing first from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, Elle. Cap has to be the worst general manager in Raw history. She puts herself in war games, and I heard it wasn't even her idea. Uh, rumors aren't facts, Corey. And besides, anyone who competes in this type of match deserves our respect. The captain is ready to call the shots. She will stab you in the back. She will do bad things to good people to get that Women's World Championship. And that's why I love her. None of those things will make a bit of a difference once the door of that cage closes behind her. Bailey's going to survey the battlefield, then her forces will attack. with no rival. Two rings, one giant cage, and eight superstars ready to risk it all for the big victory. Not only is pride on the line here, Cole, but depending on which team wins, we're going to have either Becky Lynch or Bayley as the number one contender to Bianca Belair's title. That's true, but first things first, no one in this match should be looking past the goal of surviving war games. Pulling him in for the ball breaker. Right into the lower back. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Oh, nothing fancy with that boom. And here we go. Climbing up the cage. Only bad things happen from that decision. And as she reaches the top of the cage, she's realizing her lack of options up there. And she will climb the cage. Not the smartest of ideas. Lift off. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no. Uh oh, Cora gonna cut off the win. Guillotine applied. I'm gonna tap out here. But ain't. Gotta find a way out of the guillotine. We're not gonna last long while we're bridging out. Incredible. And in just a moment, the numbers advantage set to come into play here. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. They're on the loose, looking to change the landscape of this match. Punch right to the face. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? She's got a weapon in hand, and the numbers advantage just got even more dangerous. Just going all out with every blow. Look at the amount of members on each team now. This truly has the potential to become one-sided. Continuing to brutalize their opponent's leg. The death lock is in. This is agonizing. The death lock is in. And a rough landing, but she'll get some space in the other ring. She's just teasing her with that device of destruction. She scores big with the counter. This is going to be stiff, vicious backdrop suplex. New entrant about to come in and not a moment too soon. And she got sent hard into the opposite ring. Freed from the cage and now needs to make haste to even up the fight. Able to evade. Oh. Barely combats out of that. She's already coming in to even the odds, but she's looking for difference makers now. is so important in a match like this. Just driven into the mat. She catches Kai with a big counter. Good timing with that reversal. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. And things are just going from bad to worse. Oh, man, a kendo shot to the head. That can't feel good. Elbow thrown, saying not today. Double leg takedown. Stop. Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. Ooh, bullseye. Ooh, she just turned it around. Holding cages open, and away they go, ready to get into the action. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. And entering into an absolute war zone, giving the troops the boost they need. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Right to the kidneys from behind. Nicely there. Nice side headlock applied. Oh. Butterfly backbreaker. Whoa. She just chucked her over to the other ring.
able to beat Bailey to the punch. Choke slammed right into the knee. The next entry didn't come to even up the odds. Pump kick on target. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Takedown, skull first. Sorely needed reinforcements about to arrive. Let's see what kind of impact they have. Oh my God, he's got him in. Running arm breaker. That was nasty. Looking for something under the apron before entering. Leveling the playing field, but she knew that wouldn't be enough here. And a kick to the gut. Just the second for the Rose plan. Will that overtake Becky? And can she break out back to her feet? A couple of elbows. She's tapping. She's tapping, but it doesn't matter at all in this situation. Brilliant strategy. Even odds. Dakota Kai. Kick to the ribs. Chiropractor. Wow. Has Dakota settled this? Take that. We're in the cross base. It's cinched in. This could be over. I'm going to tap out here. But fighting desperately. She rolls her way out of the submission and takes control. And Bailey is. and beelining it to give their team an edge in the match. Well, this rap's thinking something else here. Not sure why, though, Michael. She seemed to have it really cinched in. Enters the ring and is diving head first into the chaos of this. Becky Lynch fell behind with a man-handle slam. Does that finish Bailey off? Ascending the War Games cage. No idea what her plan can be. Incoming! Sitting high above the ring, the only question is to what end? Oh, that can work. No, 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 no! Oh, straight forearm! And that was an expertly executed DDT. She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage. Up high! This can't go well. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh, nobody does that better. Lynch has been right where she wants her. Oh, man. Becky Lynch hoists her up. There it is. Manhandle slam. Is it the finishing touch Lynch needs? Chloe County now a sigh of relief can surely be breathed once the next competitor enters. Better make your way into the bedlam quickly. Your team needs you. She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage, but I have no earthly blast off. Bang. We'll see how even these teams look once she's introduced this weapon to the evasion. Oh no! Leaving the high of the has a victory. It's time, guys. War Games has begun from the top. Psycho Sally crafting an attack. And back to Sky. Sky, she's trying one more time. Stanley Spanish Fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Watch out.
Watch out. Submission is locked. She fights her way out of the armbar. It seems like she's looking to take things up a notch or two. Was that brought down with a roundhouse? That's probably not how she wanted to get from one ring to another. She sits straight into the steel platform that separates the rings. predictably hard-fought war games match here are our winners leaving pieces of their body and soul in the ring but the price is worth the transaction they'll be dining out on this for years and deservedly so Becky and the captain are still celebrating their epic War Games victory. And why wouldn't they? You're now looking at the number one contender for the Women's World Championship and the GM who put her in that position. This will go a long way in shaping the future of the women's division on Raw. Shotzi? Is that a full-size tank? Oh, my God. Shotzi came prepared. I guess she graduated into something larger. She's not stopping. This is going to be bad. I don't want to watch, but I can't take my eyes off what's about to happen. Shotzi just picked up speed. She's going to rail the cage. Oh, into the side. Oh, down they go. This is bad. I can't believe what just happened. We need some help out here. Fast. Whatever her issue was, Shotzi took things way too far here tonight. What the hell was Shotzi doing? I've had no problem with her. Yeah, I may have something to do with that. <laughs> Oops. Oops? I'm going to be out for months. Is that really all you have to say? How about oops? I got carried away booking matches, but forgetting to manage people. At least that seems to be the case, based on what I've pieced together. You're back. I was having a splendid time communing with the blue-footed booby of the Galapagos. But then, I caught wind of a few questionable developments. We should talk. I swear, I had it all under control. I watched Shotzi crash a tank into the War Games cage. Fair point. And perhaps, even more egregiously, you announced War Games without me. That's my thing. I announce war games. I'm sorry? Respectfully, you're fired from being Raw GM. I accept. It wasn't a question. All that being said, with our newly minted number one contender injured, we still need a challenger for Bianca. You know, what you've consistently failed to nail down. I hate rewarding you for this mess. But I'm a much better GM than you are, so I'm going to make the right choice for the show. And unfortunately, there's someone who helped lead her team to victory who's rightfully next in line for the opportunity. You'll be getting the championship match against Bianca Belair on the next Raw.